See, now I feel like I have PTSD. I'm just paranoid watching Black Clover because every time I expect there to be happiness after we defeated the main boss, I'm expecting now that there's going to be another boss coming back. I'm like, Jesus, can we get some happiness around here? What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover, episode 65. And I am excited for hopefully changing into a new arc slash going on to other experiences because if my calculations are correct this should be the first episode of opening six and with that being said the full length which is normally a tier we have over on patreon is available for free for the first and last episode of every opening on the show for you guys so if you guys do want to check that out click that link in the description check out that free full length if you guys enjoy that format and want to keep keep it for the future consider checking out that patreon um other than that like i said we ended off last episode slash arc very well i love the red thread of fate whole ordeal the whole cat thing vanessa the witch asta having willpower all that super excited to find out where this goes remember if you guys want early access and full length to this show all the shows i'm watching like jujutsu kaisen haikyuu many many more to come check out that patreon links are down below if you guys want to support me and patreon is not really your thing if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment it really does help me with the youtube algorithm don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know exactly when i post and then don't forget we got a p.o box so if you guys ever want to send me any fan letters any art any figures for any the backdrop anything like that anything and everything is much much appreciated you guys follow me on all the social media is instagram twitch and twitter let's hop out right on into this black clover episode 65 i'm home i am so excited all right new opening opening six here we go now it's been so long since i've seen this i guaranteed i'm not gonna remember any of this i'm loving the sh dark character shots of so many characters though Oh, some shit is gonna go down this this opening. Oh my god. Langris? We're going against Langris? I'm there. Bakana. Bakana. Aw, little Vanessa being all adorable. See, at what point did we, like, lock her up and throw away the key? Like, I'm saying. Glad you're having some sort of introspection right now. True. True. Okay, she has an obsession with saying perfect and imperfect. Good. Are we gonna do this with everyone and actually be like this? She finally seen the errors of her ways because her uh her divination has said, oh, she's gonna have this crazy power, but she wouldn't have had this crazy power if she kept her locked up the whole time. So she's finally seeing the error of her ways. Good. I mean, we definitely have our arguments, but I hope to see you one day soon, Queen. Kinda left that on a good note. I'm kinda down. Hell yeah. Aww. True. The Black Bulls are one big family, one big squad. Only reason we can elevate each other up. To these enormous heights, you know. I was about to say, Asta's arms fully healed, no curses, back to full normal Asta. We're ready. I didn't even notice her earring. I didn't notice her earring at all. Now I don't know why I'm pausing it. I know Nero. They're the anti-magic birds, right? Nero's a special one. But the stone, I wonder if we're going to get her earring. She's wearing a magic stone. That's cool, though. I like the earring aspect. But we do know that in terms of information, the queen knows way more than any of us, including myself, like the audience, me. Not you guys. You guys know a lot, but 
So she said this bird implying that there's something deeper. And then she was talking about Asha's kin as if like, I thought you would be one of their kin. I don't know. There's just so much deeper shit. I don't know. You know, I'm excited to learn. Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. I know that. I mean, I wouldn't say easily. Did you miss the last 10 episodes we just had, Finral? But no, it was definitely worth it. Yes, please give us info. Yes, give us information, please. Okay. The dots are starting to connect. Some sort of sacrifice. Oh, really? Yeah, I remember she, yeah, she talked about that. That's how, I don't want to say propaganda, but that's how stories change over time. The two swords you bear, they are the ruined remains of the, used by the, They were used by the elves' leader. Oh, I am just thankful for the fucking lore drop. Oh, Mars isn't staying. Ah, oh, okay. So their whole mission, yeah. Good. Good. It's my boy. Okay. All right. I'm glad Ladros is cool now. <laughs> he still has his own. Hey, I mean, hey, man, power. As long as you don't kill anybody doing it, we're good. You know. <sighs> you guys have waited this long. I guess you can wait a little longer. Mars is a good dude. I love when they cross arms like that, you know? Or, or fist bump. Sometimes they do it at like the wrist, you know? Either or, it's the coolest looking thing. With the sunset in the background, always gotta have it like that, always, always. That'd be nice. Let's leave on good terms, you know? It's nice having this. Like, yes, we're leaving. Yes, it's still a little awkward. There's still a little bit of tension, but this is your birthplace. Come back and visit whenever you'd like. Oh, being back home, man, feels too fucking crazy. We haven't been home in like fucking 12 episodes, I swear. Oh, they were out helping out. Yeah, they were helping to find ways for Asa's arms to get healed. I remember, they were amazing. Yeah, I wonder if the cat's gonna be a permanent resi- oh, I'm glad she said I'm home, this is her home. I wonder if the cat's gonna be a permanent residence of uh, the place of Nero. I'm down to have a cat, I love cats. Okay, okay, are we getting like some training arc? This is this actually talking to us about the arc we're just leading in the next episode? I like it. Very poetic. I know. He sounds like a Game of Thrones character. This guy is Super Saiyan. Why is Magna acting like that? Okay. Okay. <laughs> They're just memeing. They're back to normal. Okay. Relax. Relax. What's up with these guys? Fucking Magna Luck go into a dungeon, turn into the fucking Super Saiyans. These guys turn into <laughs> nerds, go into the library. 
And then they're gonna turn back to normal Gordon and normal Gosh. Yep. Okay. Well, that answers that question that I've been wondering for like 30 episodes. So we thought it was the... I originally thought, sounds weird, it was the blood, you know, the whole anime fucking blood thing. But no, it has to do when he wants someone close to him. When someone close to him he cares about is something going to be happy. That's when his nose bleeds. Hell yeah. Asta is family. I love Gordon for <laughs> quietly announcing that. Hell yeah. Black Bulls party. After all the hard work we just went through, Asta getting cured. Some barbecue, some beers. Jesus. This is this is what happens when you're gone, Asta. <laughs> you're the foundation of you're the backbone of this whole place. That's why Vanessa's always getting naked. Heck yeah, that's my girl. She feels at ease. I want Vanessa to feel at ease with me. Just, just get naked. Oh, Ahsoka, what the hell? Oh, this is the ending. Okay. First time hearing the ending. Let's, let's go for it. Ooh, this is the new character from the opening. Gotta be related to my boy Fuegolian. I'm guessing his sister, maybe? Ooh, the new character looks so dope. Wait, he's gonna be with us? He's gonna be a member? That was an interesting ending. I liked it, though. Had its own vibes. Hey, man, to get us going into this new arc, to get us going, ooh, I can feel it. I love arc changes in Shonen because you can feel like the tone changed slightly. You got a different opening, a different ending. I just love going through that phase and I'm so glad I'm going through it again. Um, I have no idea what the premise of this next arc is going to be. Like a lot of the times when they're setting it up, they'll be like, oh yeah, and we're going to go to an underwater temple and we're going to go to a magical forest. So I, not a clue what's going to happen. I do know we're going to get some sort of, uh, my, what are the names? You got the, the the Silvas, the Vermilions, and the other. The Vermilion is like mimosas, right? Oh man, I'm I, I'm gonna have to redo my. Uh, I should have their names written down actually. I'm gonna have to redo my list on familiar on, on royals and nobles on this because it's been a long time since I've seen the. Um, they are the Vermilions. Okay, just had to make sure. I didn't want to feel like I was an idiot, but because it's been so long, remind me, guys. Uh, we have Leopold and Fogolian, they're brothers. Is Mimosa like their cousin? Because they're all Vermilions, and I know there's only three royal families, if I remember correctly. Are they cousins or cousins like were moved? Um, but I'm so curious who this fiery female looks to be. Like I said, I'm hoping it's a it's a very close relative of Leo and fucking Fogolian. I love them to death, and I haven't seen them in so long. Oh, we also got the Hisoka looking character, who I his design looks so badass to me. I have no, mm, I can't wait to see him in action. I don't, oh, and then the opening looks so sick as well. It looked like we were fighting Langris. It looked like we were fighting a whole bunch of dudes. I am so excited. Like I said, new arcs for me in anime are just major. I love how self-contained and how different an arc can be from a previous arc and how it can have its own little roller coaster of emotion, character, story, plot, and everything. I think my biggest example of that personally is Hunter x Hunter. You have one arc, that's like a training arc. You have one arc, that's like a test. You have one arc, that's like a, a murder mystery. You have one arc, that's like a fantasy isekai. Like, I love how different arcs can feel from one another. So I'm, I'm all for it, I'm here. If you guys are excited as well, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you guys liked the free full length and want to consider keeping it for the future, future, <laughs> check out that Patreon down below. Other than that, Dapper Squad, I appreciate y'all so much. Have a great day, you guys. Peace out.